Okay guys, here's a short video of the ball turret I've been working with in operation, retractable. Right now I have it set for manual tilt, but I've got a servo that I'm putting in that later. A little, as a matter of fact, right there it is, a little 2.5G. We mounted inside the turret. Um, the problem with this three-way axis, XYZ axis, is if the gun is not completely lined up with the gun barrels, with slots, as you see there, it will jam up, which is something I've been trying to work out. Otherwise, it'll jam up and strip the servo. And I haven't been able to come up with the programming that when the gear is retracted, it's set up right now, so the, when the gear is retracted, the ball turret comes down. When the gear goes up, <laughs> the uh, ball turret comes down, and I think I said that backwards anyway. Gear up, ball turret down, gear down, ball turret up. That way it's tucked up and away when it's ready for landing, just like the real one is. But uh, it also has to swing back to its normal position back here, its resting position, to be able to allow the guns to go up in the slot since it retracts all the way back up into the fuselage. And that's, right now, the only part that I haven't got mastered yet. But I've got it real turned on all three axes. I just don't have the other servo uh, in it yet. Even though I did finally get it all worked out from my earlier post here, I'm actually using uh, two 3.7G servos. I'll post pictures. I ripped it all back out here a minute ago, and I posted pictures uh, of it put together. It's actually a servo that's tied to another servo that's actually causing the rotation, and then the servo below that is, is the retraction. So it was a funky little setup. And took me a while, but it works like a champ, and here it is working. Now the little 2.5G servo right there will actually be mounted inside the ball turret. I gotta take it back off. It just comes off with these two screws right here. So, and then I've got a piece of plastic I'm waiting to seal up and then seal up all these edges here. But there it is. Doesn't need to be real strong, just need to be functional. I had to give it a little bit of slop and free play to fit down in this tube that I made. I wanted to keep as light as possible and as less, less pieces as possible. Not to add too much weight on the back here. This thing is almost weightless. Um, it's not weightless, but for all practical purposes, it probably weighs the content of a 9G servo in its entirety. With the ball turret, crank, all, two, the, all three servos and everything have the equal weight of less than one 9G servo. Definitely would be less than a retract bay mod, which I have decided I am not going to do. Okay, guys, I'll get this up on YouTube.